Hello, hello, hello. It is Friday, December 29th, 2023, and we are hitting up the end of the year. Thanks for joining me on my channel, and what better way to end up this year than talking about generative AI and getting deeper into it. Uh, we're gonna be talking specifically about a technique called super resolution, uh, which is a technique that is used to take a low resolution image and convert it to a high resolution image. Uh, and if you're involved in this world at a deeper level than just going on an image generator and typing a prompt and causing an image to appear, then this is one of the really cool things you can do if you get really into the models and stuff like that and tools. So um, yeah, so the super resolution technique was developed a few years ago and this real ESR GAN, ESR Generative Adversarial Network, is an advancement to that. So what it does is that it uses the um, generative adversarial network architecture under the hood to uh, essentially create a new high resolution image. And the I've gone into GANs before. The paper is available. It's a really interesting paper. You can find it uh, on the GitHub, which I have on the screen right now. And you can find a link to it. And the actual architecture for this uh, real ESR GAN was developed by Xin Tao Wang, Liang Bingxi, Chao Dong, and Ying Shan. Uh, and yeah, so let's get into it. Um, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to take our friend, the Doom Guy, and if you remember him from 93, 94, the original Doom Guy, you know, before all the advanced Dooms came out, uh, you probably remember how low res he is, especially when he's in pain. So yes, let's get to it. So I have a collab notebook uh, prepared. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm gonna run this all off collab, the remote environment, because on the machine I'm on right now, I don't have a really good NVIDIA card. Uh, so I'm going to be using the collab remote environment. And what I'm gonna be doing is using the T4 GPU because we need a GPU for this and I'm gonna be using the high RAM environment, uh, which I pay for the premium subscription. Um, so I'm running it, okay, I've connected. And so first what I'm gonna do is gonna mount to my Google Drive because that's where I'm gonna get all my files, my low res images that I'm going to convert over. And so first we mount the Google Drive. And that should be mounted in a moment. It takes a little while. Okay, so it's mounted, and now I'm going to move to the directory uh, for the Google Drive. I'm going to clone the Git repo. And then uh, I'm going to use these steps here to uh, actually run the setup script so that I can get the inference working. So that takes a moment too. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm since I have my repo cloned, I have my e real ESR GAN file, I'm going to create a new folder called upload, and another new folder called results. And in upload, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Doom Guy. Okay, so this is Doom Guy. All right, this is pretty much how he looks in the game if you zoom in on him. Okay, uh, now let us go to. Okay, we're ready. And now here's the fun part let us run the inference. And so you'll notice that because of the environment uh, that I'm on, it shouldn't actually take that long once all the uh, prerequisites are downloaded and once the inference begins. So it looks like it ran. Okay, it's done. Now let's go to my results folder. Let's see if anything was there. Time for a moment of truth. Yes, there was, and there you go. Now that is a real doom guy if I've ever seen one. I don't know why he's cross-eyed, but... If you're in pain, you could really be cross-eyed. So, yeah, next time you're playing the original Doom, remember that this is exactly how the Doom guy should look in reality. Yes. Okay. Well, 
thank you for uh, watching my uh, video. Um, and uh, if you like my videos, like, subscribe. And yeah, show me some love in the comments. And yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you next time.